What's going on guys, it's CG Gaming back for the VFL which has finally returned after a long awaited break. As you'll know, we updated you with last season when we were with Bayern Munich and season 31 was postponed. So we are now back and we have rejoined up with our firm favourites, Jumbo Humongo and Manchester J. We have joined up with Fulham and as you'll see there is a team there, very strong team indeed, some old teammates in there like Fernley and Blythe. So, um, before we kick off this episode, I did miss the first two games, and as you'll see, the results there, a draw and a win. So we're going to jump straight into the action, and we're going to start off with the Bristol City game. Bristol City were unbeaten at the time of playing them. They had won their first two games, so we knew that they were going to be a decent squad, and we had to be on, on form for us to win this game. So we're going to start off here. We're going to pick up a corner. Dusk makes a good save. Jumbo eventually manages to get that. And we managed to hit them on the counter on a fantastic through ball, splitting the full defence. And Jay is through on goal, and he tries a ball roll and tries to shoot. Now, Jay, I, I realise that you said you tried to pass that on to Willow, but I have reviewed that clip countless times, and I cannot see any attempted pass from your pro. So they're going to put us under more pressure here, coming down the line. We managed to defend well with our full back picking up there. Unfortunately, they do give it away again and they're going to come into the box and they're going to make a shot and unfortunately for us the deflection puts it past dusk and goals and obviously for you of you who followed the Huddersfield series you'll recognise dusk as one of the best keepers personally in my opinion that I have played under and it shows as we get further into the episode so we're going to start off strongly in the second half we knew we had to make a comeback we're going to pick up that corner there and we're going to eventually, after some shambolic break, um, we are going to lose the ball and we make another good tackle there from the fullback. He's going to play it down the line and we are going to try and play our way into the middle. We're going to pick that up there, play it on to Marquise who plays a fantastic ball to Jay. He's going to play in jumbo and Woggle. Pick that out. Pick that out. There's no way the keeper was ever going to save that. And I find some fantastic play gets us right back in the game and ties thing up at one apiece. So we're going to kick straight back into this and we pick up a corner here in the 90th minute. We try and play this in, play that back across but the goalkeeper is going to come out. He's going to pick up the ball and that is going to be the last action of this first game that we played in season 31. So first game, not a clean sheet, one each. Um, we do manage to get a point and that is going to take the team's total up to five. So we knew that if we really wanted aspirations of promotion this season then we had to be picking up points, all three points in these types of games. So there was no more room for error and we are going to move on to the second game here and we're going to be playing Brighton. Just to give you guys a quick heads up, what I'm going to be doing this season is I'm going to be splitting the episodes into two two games per episode so we have a bit longer um, and I can probably focus a lot more on obviously editing them and Jumbo's going to pick up another goal there set plays um, especially from corners is going to be really strong for us this season we've worked on it a lot and it is going to show throughout the episodes that you guys will be seeing through this weekend anyway so we're going to play that and again from the corner Manchester J manages to pick it up gets his head on the ball and we go up to now fantastic header giving the keeper no chance really um, and we're going to keep continuing on as we mean to however Brighton they're going to pick up the ball here a nice over the top ball going to manage to find their striker who beats our defence really we were sleeping right after the second goal and they pull one back so 2-1 not the best of score lines but we are going to take this lead into half time and as you'll see from the stats there, we are dominating, so we really need to put this game to bed and make sure that we picked up all three points. Brighton, by the way, at the time of the game, were fully below us. They were in the last position, I think, in the league, 24th. Um, and you'll see there another set piece, very well worked, played in, and Jay manages to score that. So they are going to put us under pressure immediately again. And it's going to take some good defending to pick up the ball here. Going to find Willow. He's going to find Jay. He'll play it across to Jumbo. And Jumbo, in this kind of form, he is never going to miss that. He has got off to an absolute cracking start. Um, and he is going to be very key for us up front with Jay. Jay's going to pick up the ball here again. 
he's going to play it on to Marquise, who, some nice moves, brings it into the box, he'll find Jay, and Jay slams it home to make it 5-1. So, a really good performance there from the team, and we're going to keep on pushing, because goal difference is going to be majorly important for us in this league. However, straight from the kickoff, just after it, they are going to put us under some pressure, some good passing, we managed to pick it up again, finds Willow, he's going to take it for a run, play it back into Jay, Jay takes a strike and there you go, another goal, 6-1, a very comfortable lead, very emphatic team performance and absolutely brilliant from the guys to keep on pushing and keep the levels up. Brighton are going to come on the attack here, they're going to play it down their line, comes back inside, he's going to do a little bit of juggling with it, from Jockey in, he's going to come in after playing in his teammate, plays out wide, they play in the cross and they manage to get there in front of us on the header to make it 6-2 and we concede another goal um, in the 90th minute, so not good for the goal difference however, a good solid overall team performance, another one that we should have really had a clean sheet, next episode will be out tomorrow guys, if you've liked it leave a thumbs up and if you've not done so subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys tomorrow.